Well, last time we left off, I, the prince, had to go talk to Piccolo. Look at the green man. I wonder if he has any of the leftover kush, but first, what is this? Oh my god! It's Kakarot and Popo mixed into one! I feel disturbed at what I am seeing right now! Oh my god! I do not need to get that image in my head. All right, Piccolo, let's talk right now. Um, Piccolo? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Can you teach me about the Why birds and the bees? A super Saiyan? That is a good question. <laughs> I don't really know how to explain why, but I'm trying to continue my training. That's not gonna end well. You still feel responsible for your dad's death, huh? Yeah, that's part of it. I need to make sure I'm strong enough to protect the Earth now. You don't keep that that's same why energy. I'm still a Super Saiyan. I want my body to get used to this form a bit more. Oh man. So it looks like I didn't need to worry after all. Oh, you will, Piccolo. You will. Since Frieza showed up, even after we believed he was dead, I always thought I had to be on my guard. Are you sure about that? Because you, you, you're going to have to be on your guard. He's not going to keep that same energy. But if Cell or some new androids show up, you're the only one that has what it takes to beat them. Well, looks like you're going to have to call on the prince because he's just too much of a bitch. So I planned on giving you a push in the right direction when you needed it. But I guess you really didn't need me to do that. Oh, so that's what you mean. It makes me happy to hear you have so much faith in me. Oh, man, the disappointment that's about to take effect, guys. Man, this is some fan fiction shit, right? Because Gohan doesn't do anything. He's just going to die. He's going to die. His character is going to die, metaphorically speaking, because he's just going to go, hey, I'm done training, and I'm going to become the great Saiyan man, and woo-wee-wah, look at my poses I take after getting you. <laughs> so... You got a more concrete training regimen planned? Oh no. Just being a Super Saiyan isn't going to cut it, you know. Yeah. Fucking train. Do your push-ups, do your sit-ups, drink plenty of juice. Yeah, it's just... I still don't know what else I can do. Fight? Spa? Did your training with your father not teach you anything? Hmm, I guess that's understandable. You pretty much did all you could do in the hyperbolic time chamber. Do you have any ideas? With regards to your strength, you're probably as strong as you can get right now, so you won't see much rapid improvement in terms of raw power. What you lack is mental fortitude. Oh, mental fortitude! I mean, he's gonna get way stronger in power when he uh, becomes ultimate Gohan, mystic Gohan, whatever the fuck it's called! Mental fortitude? Gohan, why are you acting like you don't know what that means? You read books. Do you not read the dictionary? Your dad. He knows how to remain focused in battle. You, on the other hand, you're still too emotional. I <laughs> like a woman. Ah, oh, oh, hilarious. You might be right about that. If I had focused more, I could have prevented Cell from self-destructing. So, what should I do? Hmm. You might not like this suggestion, but... Why don't you try training with Vegeta? Yes! He's the strictest guy around when it comes to emotion. Come on, then. Let's go. I'm gonna make a saying out of you. I'm gonna change the whole course of history. I'm about to put you in the training regimen of training regimens. You ain't gonna be a failure. God damn it, I'm gonna make a man out of him. I'm gonna make him a relevant character. I am going to train you daily, nightly. But actually, technically, didn't I quit fighting? We're about to get the truth. We're about to get the real truth of why I came out of retirement. And I'm gonna tell you why I came out of retirement. It's because this um, uh, It's cause this son of a bitch was too much of a bitch and he didn't train. And not just with others, but with himself too. Oh yeah, you got that right, Green Man. He knows me so well. I thought our communication only was over uh, weed, but apparently uh, it is went further beyond that. He might be able to provide some insight into the mental aspects of combat. Oh, absolutely. Piccolo, flattery will get you everywhere. Come on over to the house tomorrow. We can have some Namekian kush and we can watch some films. Understood. I'll go ask Vegeta if he can help me out. Oh, I'm gonna smack you right in the face as hard as I can. Better find Vegeta so I can ask for his help. All right, let's see. Um, Let's go this way. Where am I? Could be. Oh, 
All right, maybe I'm in here. Aha! There's a doggy. What do you want? Yeah, what do you want? I'm looking at my luscious ass. Would you mind fighting me so I can get stronger? No, now go away. Leave me alone. My dad died because of me. I need to get stronger. So something like that doesn't happen again. Oh, you want to be stronger, do you? Well, fine. I'll make a man out of you. But there is a catch. It's up to me to maintain peace now. I need to protect Earth in my dad's place. Are you going to keep that same energy when you're older and you've got a woman? Are you going to keep that same energy? Are you going to be able to put down the books and go train? Are you? Don't be absurd. Ha <laughs> ha! Me's like, fuck all that noise. You think Kakarot's dead because of you? You're the one that's going to replace him? You're not going to replace Kakarot? The clown is one of a kind! There is no warrior that will match his stupidity! And his skill! And his power! And I'm not complimenting him. I, I don't like him, Baka. You arrogant, spoiled little brat! Yes, you are! Much like my son! Huh? But I... But, 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 but I... But I... But I... But I... Butt your ass on out of here! Damn it. I wasn't planning on fighting ever again, but I've changed my mind now. Yes! This is it! The truth! Come at me. I'll beat the arrogance out of you. Yes, me. Yes! 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 Now, what the fuck? <laughs> we teleported? I guess this is the trading machine. Now let's go. Show me what you've got. I'm sorry, me. Me, let's be honest. He's not going to be able to fill in. Unfortunately. I mean, come on. Oh, fuck. Me got me with the boot. Damn it. Okay. Is this me? Ah, oh, shit! Oh, well, me ran right into it. I saw it coming. All right, me! I'm going Super Saiyan 2 on you! I've got no choice! Time for this! Sorry, me! Shit! Damn it, me! Now it's my turn! Damn it! Oh, shit! Okay, uh, I'm gonna need a Sensu for that one. <laughs> I'm gonna need a sensu for that one. Get this! I'm sorry! Oh, come on, mate. I'm trying, damn it! Damn it! My body. Oh, my soul. Oh, damn it! My guts! Oh, now my back! Now I'm gonna get you! I gotta do it, me! I don't have a choice! I have to whoop your ass! I'm sorry, me! And now begins the dominance. You have to believe it, like Naruto said. Now I'm gonna have to go full power, me! Energy with the Kamehameha barrage in a minute! Oh shit! Damn it! Okay, me! Sorry! Yes, you can't hold it! Fuck! He big voted me anyway! <laughs> me! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Me won't let me win! <laughs> this battle's something else. Damn! Okay, me. You want me to go full power? Damn it, I will! Jeez. He doesn't remind me of him. Vegeta, Damn it! Nothing. We're done here. Me, you're not supposed to say that shit out loud! He got an A for being an ass! Shit. So annoying. You were far more powerful than this when you defeated Cell. You were holding back, weren't you? I think he was. No. That's not true! A soft, spineless brat like you could never replace Kakarot! Stupid child! Yeah, 
Vegeta's right. I can't define who I am based on who my dad was. That's true. You're supposed to be your own man, goddammit. I... I need to do some serious soul-searching. <laughs> I need to do some serious soul-searching. Even my failure of a son knew this much. I, I'd better stay a Super Saiyan a little longer. Mom's not gonna be happy about it, though. Well, what can, what can she do? Is she gonna hit you? I mean, she could just be unhappy about it. Greetings. Oh no, it's Dinde. Huh, that voice, Dinde, is that you? What's going on? <laughs> well, I've actually got a favor to ask you. Could you come up to the lookout when you're free? Look out, sure thing, I'll be right there. Thank you so much. I'll be waiting. Oh no. That does not this seem like a good- with power. What thing? What thing's filled with power? The hell are you talking about? All right, Dende, what do you want? I'm here. <laughs> hey, it's Dende. Greetings. Oh, Gohan. So you said you need a favor? Yes. Right, I'm thinking about increasing Shinron's power. Increasing Shinron's power? Let's see. We could have another villain as powerful as Cell on our hands at any moment. I want to be prepared. But in order to increase Shinron's power, I need some things, and I was hoping you could help me find them. What do you think? Having more powerful Shinron could really help us out. So will you help me? Of course I will do whatever I can. So what exactly do you need? Thank you so much. I wish I could... I knew I could count on you, Gohan. Thanks a bunch. Right, so here are the materials I need. Rainbow Crystal. And that should be everything I need. Right. Okay, you can count on me. Excuse me. One second, please. Rainbow crystals are extremely rare. Finally, it won't be easy. In fact, I can't even tell you where to begin. What? Whoa, I thought you knew everything. <sighs> I've scoured the entire planet from here, but I still can't find it. Well, why the fuck are you called God? Uh... Mm, this will be a toughie. Hey. Oh, fortune teller Baba might know where to find it. Huh? Really? Yes. Yeah, her readings are spot on every time. Great idea, Mr. Popo. Whoa, Earth sure has quite a few impressive individuals. It looks like she's in West City. Whoa, in the city, huh? That's rare. Guess I'll head over then. Hey. Of course, her services come with a price. Let's see. Oh, that's right. Here. I got a big old gold dust. What? Gee, thanks, are you sure? Sure. Matters of guardianship dwarf matters of money. Besides, it's not like we ever we have use for money up here anyway. Right. Great point. Okay, Dende, I'll be back in a flash. Yes. Good luck, Gohan. Yay, this is great. And there's Baba. Um. Yeah. How is that sound? Say no more, Rainbow Crystals, yes. What? Whoa, how'd you know that? <laughs> I'm a fortune tailor. It's literally what I do all day. Do you not shit? Do you not piss? Do you not fuck? Do you not suck? What is going on? Oh, oh yeah. You. Ahem. Hmm. My fee, please, in your pocket. Oh, that's right. Hi. Here you go. You handed over a bag of gold dust. Very well. Let us begin then. Hmm. I see a ship sunken south of Kame House. What? A sunken ship? So there's oars in the ocean? Indeed. Quite so. Coincide to briny oblivion, the vessel once stocked the crystals you seek. Find the ship and the cargo you so convert. I can't say that fuck. Convey will be spilling out its ancient frame. Yay! I'm gonna go do the hand me shit. Do not tr try it. What? Do try not to drown. Right. Gotcha. I mean, he's a saying him drowning is kind of. You know, you could literally put a key barrier around you where you wouldn't drown. Just the thought. Everyone forgot about those things. Nice. All right. We are back. I got your damn shit, all right? I do not want to be reduced to a delivery boy. Dende, I'm back! Thank you so much! Thanks, go on. This will do wonderfully. I don't care, die. 
So what is it you're trying to do exactly? Earth's Dragon Balls aren't operating at full potential. This will even the gap between them and their Namekian counterparts. Hold on, please. Really? This is totally canon. This totally happened. And they're all done. What? Already? Try using the Dragon Balls. You should be able to make some better wishes now. Right. Roger that. You're some you're something else, Dinde. <laughs> Thanks. Yay. It's totally relevant, I don't care. Oh, I'm talking to Hello. 21 again. I'm glad you could um... make it. Bomb instructed me to show you some rather intriguing data we've come across. What is that? It's actually collected from the small spacecraft that was used to escape from Planet Namek. Caps Corporation obtained the craft and found a peculiar chip in its onboard computer. Really? Do tell me! 21. We analyzed the chip and found the data of the craft's original owners, the Ginyu Force. All oh, those clowns, you mean Gohan's inspiration to become the great Saiyaman? However, there was also records of a mysterious individual on the chip. Yes. According to Bulma's friends, the Ginyu Force had five members. A name we discovered on the chip did not match any of those names of the five members on the Force. The name is Bunyu. Bunyo, Bunyu, whatever, I don't know how to say the name, and belongs to a female warrior from an extra extraterrestrial planet. We continue to dig deeper, and just the other day, we were able to successfully extract data on her appearance, voice, and can and combat abilities. It's unclear just how strong she was as a warrior, though. <laughs> That's why Bulma had me reach out to you. She figured you would be interested in fi helping find out that. Indeed. Bonyu's data is already in the input of the training room's computer, so fight her any time you'd like. Please keep in mind, though the data is not complete, there are still some things missing from her simulation. The more you fight her, the closer we can get to completing our analysis. We would greatly appreciate your assistance in this matter. All right, let's do this special training. Okay, this should be very easy. Please, we're only gonna play with the prince. Let's do this shit. Oh, dang, girl! You mighty thick! Oh! You wanna have some fun with the prince? Oh, baby, you got that Australian accent? Man, Jay should have told me about you! I would, I'm about to give you the final flash of this D! Oh, I'm about to end this, alright? God! Oh, I'm having a lot of fun, baby. Damn! I'm not supposed to be struggling like this. Damn! She lassoed me up! Go damn! She's taking me to the ball beat. Oh yeah, you you tried it. Oh, oh, you sure? What the fuck is this shit? Good job, Piccolo! Just who are you? The prince of the motherfucking Saiyans, baby. And I gotta ask, cause I'm about to sexify you up. Wow. I did it! And I acquired her! I've got the soul emblem. Yay. I don't know who that chick was, but um she was mighty uh thick. Chi, I'm home! Yeah, I've done enough of my training. Hi, Gohan. Ready to come home? Yes. Make me a dish. No, I'm back, Mom. Yes, I'm continuing the story, damn it. I am continuing the goddamn story. Finally got your priorities straight, huh? That's my boy. While you're at it, how about losing the wild hair? Oh, shit. You're gonna... Fine. Oh. Uh, I'll tone it down. You're around the house. Oh, around the house. This is how it starts. This is how it starts, ladies and gentlemen. The downfall of Gohan son. You'll be going to a respectable school one day. We can't have your classmates thinking you're some renegade rock star. Come on. Come on. His hair is fucking blonde or gold. Whatever. Come on. Okay, okay. 
I'll limit it to my training. School, huh? <laughs> That'll be something. Oh, it will be when you see Vidal in those, uh, shorty shorts and that ponytail. Thanks to Gohan and his father, the planet was freed from Cell's evil clutches. Yes, it was. Yay! It's not like I helped. It's not like I threw a blast here to save the whole goddamn day! The people of Earth were finally able to live in peace once again. Good for them. I'm happy. I'm angry. However, during times of peace, people have a tendency to foolishly grow complacent. Oh! Oh, the narrator even calling you foolish, Gohan! You know it's bad when the narrator calls out a character for being foolish. Such is the fate of mankind. I mean, he is part saying, just saying. Just saying. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, no! Oh god, this is hell. And there's Majin Buu. Yay. The Majin Buu reborn. Shazam. Yay. Are you feeling angry? Humiliated, is that it? 